Everyone, we start today with a massive cleanup effort that happened around the city today. Around 2,000 volunteers showed up to support the effort. Atia Collins is at the site where the city distributed equipment to the volunteers today, and she joins us now. Atia? Well, that's exactly right, Maureen. It started here. The city organizing that cleanup effort at Frontier Field. It was here where around 2,000 people showed up from all over the area, heading out into the city to clean up the, what was left in the wake of that destruction protest. Thousands of volunteers standing in Frontier Field this afternoon with one goal. Rochester strong, Rochester proud, you know. I think that people are here today because we care about our city and um, we know there is work to be done. So I think people showing up on a Sunday morning is really a beautiful thing. Brooms, gloves and disinfectant was handed out as the group headed into the city for the destruction that waited them. Store windows were smashed and glass littered the street. The destruction brought other small business owners out, like Luann Lipson, who came from Orleans County to help out. We just are a small business and understand even with this COVID, everyone is struggling to begin with. And at the public safety building, the memorial for fallen firefighters had been vandalized. And for Chris Misick, an Army veteran, that memorial had a personal meaning. He got up at 6 a.m. to drive from Victor to here to help out. That monument stands for them and for their families and what they've sacrificed. And I just couldn't sit by and do nothing. Other volunteers like Olivia Humans came out to help the community she calls home. Even though we might have differing opinions for what went on, we just have to come together as a community because in community there's unity and we all have to come as one. Now, many of those volunteers did say it was unfortunate the protest turned destructive, but they said just the sheer numbers that came out here today really showed how many people care about the Rochester community. Reporting at Frontier Field, Atia Collins, News 8. All right.